It's been a busy past few months here at the Good Smile Company office with the One Hobby 33 figure exhibition back in May. We showed off a ton of new and upcoming figures, so be sure to check out the video series on this channel that we did introducing the exhibition if you want to see more. Today I am back to unboxing videos and I've got a Nendoroid from Oregairu that I promised fans a few months ago. So stay tuned because today we're going to take a look at my teen romantic comedy snafus, Nendoroid Yui Yui Gahama. Let's unbox. Nendoroid Yui Yui Gahama comes in a standard Nendoroid box with a pastel pink on the sides and the back of the box. Let's take a look inside. Opening up the box you'll find the blister packaging. along with a manual. Be sure to take a look at that. There is a ton of great parts to look at here, but first let's get a look at Yui Yui Gahama herself. Yui Yui Gahama's energetic personality and adorable looks have been faithfully captured in Nendoroid form. Her Sobu high school uniform has been carefully recreated as well. One of my personal favorite parts of this Nendoroid is the detailed gradation of her hair. The Nendoroid comes with two additional faceplates, making for three faceplates in total. Faceplates can be swapped in by removing the front hair part of the figure and popping out the faceplate. As for optional parts, Yui comes with her backpack. The backpack connects to the figure via a peg on the back of the part. She also comes with her smartphone. Yui also comes with a pair of dog ears, a perfect match for the cat ears that come with Nendoroid Yukino. These ears attach to the figure via a clear film that slides in between the front and back hair parts. She also comes with a special arm part to pose her holding her dachshund sable. Taking a look at the underside of the blister, you'll find a bag which holds a few different parts. First there is a bag in here with a few different arm and leg parts, including a hand part which you can pose with Nendoroid Yukino Yukino set to display them holding hands. A Nendoroid base is included as well, along with a Nendoroid support arm, and another support arm for use with her backpack part. She also comes with a spare neck joint. Let's try making a few poses now. First I'm going to pose her with her dog Sabore with that arm part from earlier. For her left arm, I'm going to need one of the alternate arm parts in the bag that was included on the underside of the blister. It's the bent arm part. I'm going to swap out her faceplate with her faceplate with closed eyes. Then after that, I'll go ahead and take off her right arm and put the right arm holding Sabore on that side. After that, we'll take off the left arm and then put that other left arm on there. 
You'll need the hand part from the standard arm part. So take that off and then put that on the alternate arm part. And the pose is complete. Next, let's pose her with her phone with that flustered expression on her face. First, I'm going to take off her right arm part so I can put that alternate bent arm part on. After that, I'll go ahead and attach the hand part with the smartphone. Then, I'm going to swap out the faceplate with that flustered expression faceplate. After that, I just need to adjust the hands a bit and the pose is complete. Finally, which you all have been waiting for, let's pose her with those dog ears. First thing I'm going to do is replace her faceplate with her standard expression. After that, I'm going to go ahead and remove her left arm part and replace it with the standard left arm part. I'll also take that hand part back and put it back on the arm. As for the right side, I only need to take off the hand part. I'm replacing this with the closed hand part, which you can find on the arm part to pose her holding sable. Next, I'll go ahead and replace her right leg part with the bent leg part. After that, it's time to attach the dog ear parts. First, you're going to want to separate her front and back hair parts just a little bit to slide that film through. Once both ears have been slid onto the figure, just press the front hair part back in to lock them in place. After that, you can finally adjust the position of the ear parts and the pose is complete. Those are just a few of the different poses you can make with an Nendroid, but when it comes to Nendroids, your imagination is really the limit. So be sure to create all kinds of poses and share those with us on social media if you take pictures. We'd love to see them. Nendroid Yui Yui Gahama started shipping out in April 2021, so if you pre-ordered, you may have already received your pre-order, but if you haven't, sit tight, she should be coming soon. If you haven't pre-ordered, keep an eye out on store shelves or the Good Smile Online Shop or Good Smile Online Shop US for stock. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this and go and leave us a comment down below too to let us know what Nendroid you want us to unbox next. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so you get the latest information on all of our news figures. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.